In this video I'm going to show you how you can create and work with waterfall charts in Empower. First of all, I'm going to give you a quick insight on the basic logic of a waterfall chart. And in order to understand the functionality of a waterfall chart, it is the easiest way to have a look on the data, which we can have in the mini Excel right here. The first point is the base and starting point for all the following points, which will be stacked on top of it, as you can see in the chart right here. The first point and the second point and third point are stacked on top of it. Moreover, you can also add sums to your waterfall chart, as we've got a subtotal and a total sum in this case. And in order to create a sum, an X, or basically any character, has to be typed right here. And all the previous data points are added up. So the subtotal sum calculates the sum of point 1 and 2. And the total sum calculates the sum of all the points, as you can also see in the chart right here. Furthermore, you can work with multiple series in a waterfall chart. In this case, we have three series, and all the series are stacked upon each other. If there are some data points missing in one series, they are simply not shown. For example, right here, we have the series of France, which doesn't have any numbers for client A. So right here, we can only see the numbers for Germany and the USA. You can also see this in the mini Excel. So these cells are empty. And while working with multiple series, I can show you the different options that you have for creating sums. So let's have a look at the total sum of 2018 right here. As you can see, we have axes added in all our series. So there are three axes right here. And if you have an X in every series, the sums of each series are shown separately and stacked in the total 2018 sum. But there's another option of how you can create a sum. You can delete these axes right here. And if you only have one X added and press enter, you can see that an overall sum is created which can be used if it only matters to create a total sum of all the data points of all series. In some cases, it might be useful to put a series on top. So let's have a closer look on this exemplary chart that I've already prepared right here. We have two series in this chart. The series displayed in dark blue should display the safe and certain numbers that are expected. Whereas this data point right here, displayed in a lighter blue, should show a value that is not certain, and thus the series is called maybe. And you have the possibility to put a series on top of your waterfall. So if you select this option, it will only be displayed and stacked on top of the other series and not integrated in the calculation of the sum. So this can be very useful if this value cannot be taken for granted and should only be shown as a possibility in your chart. And in order to stress that, you could, for example, also use a pattern that visualizes this also. Moreover, with Empower, you have the possibility to create multiple waterfalls or add extra columns to your chart. To do so, you simply navigate the mini Excel or Excel file if you're working with a whole Excel file. And now you can add some new columns to your chart. And if you enter the keyword new like that, 
Empower understands that everything that follows right now won't be a continuation of the previous steps and something new starts right here. So right here I could, for example, add a new column that could be called plan. But I could also start a whole new waterfall right here. And now let's have a look what we've done. In this example, we have the costs at the start of 2022 right here. Then we have several projects that caused a loss in our costs. And right here we see the costs at the end of 2022. And as I've added this new column, we now have visualized the plan and can compare the actual costs to the plan very easily. Another function that Empower offers is the possibility to choose a different color if we have negative values or, or if we have negative steps in our waterfall chart. So as we can see in this chart, we have several steps that have positive values and several steps that represent a loss and thus have negative values. And in order to stress or highlight this even more and make this more perceptible, we can navigate the action bar right above our chart, click on the series menu. And right here we have the option to choose a fill color if negative. So right here we could, for example, use an orange color. And as you can see, all our negative steps are now highlighted by this fill color. I can remove this by simply clicking on the X. Right now we're going to have a look on the waterfall directions and how you can change them. The default setting of a waterfall is that it is ordered from left to right. But we could also change this by clicking on the data menu and selecting another waterfall direction, which, which could be, for example, right to left. And as you can see, the order changes just like that. And additionally, we also have the option to change our waterfall chart to a waterfall bar chart by simply converting our chart like that. The whole orientation of our chart has changed and we also have the option to change our waterfall direction in the waterfall bar chart. Now we have selected from top to bottom, but we could also go from bottom to top like that. So I hope this video gave you a quick insight on the many options that you have while working with waterfall charts in Empower. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.